Hello everyone, I'm the Peculiar Pisces and welcome to my channel. Today is Monday, August 26, 2024 and I'm back after two weeks. The This is Floss 2 video number 20, is it 21 or 22? Uh, 22. This is Floss 2 video number 22. Um, wow, my mind just went blank. Let me start out by giving you updates on my health. I am two and a half, almost three weeks post hysterectomy. Uh, I saw the doctor last week for my two week checkup. Uh, everything is great. Everything is moving smoothly. My next appointment is uh, September 30th. And that's when I get the all clear that I can start doing things again. Because my doctor says I can't do, lift anything heavier than, I think she said, like 10 or 15 pounds. So I get to take it easy. I don't get to clean. I don't get to do laundry. I don't get to do dishes. Because she's like, don't do the vacuum cleaner. Don't lift laundry baskets. Don't lift really heavy pots and pans. And I'm like, okay. So I get to relax for the next several weeks, sort of relax. And uh, yeah, so my next appointment is then, and hopefully I'll get the all clear on that. Then um, I also had an appointment with the orthopedic foot surgeon. Um, he took x-rays of my foot uh, again, and everything is good. No further slippage of the ligament. Um, the bones are not separating. Uh, he said that it's healed. The break has healed so well that you really can't even see it unless you zoom way into the x-rays. So he's very pleased with the progress and said that I never have to see his face again. So, you know, that's, that's good. <laughs> um... Now on to, I don't have any stitchy mail. Um, I've been good for the last couple of weeks and didn't spend any money. Uh, for um, the fair, the state fair started. The Colorado State Fair started August 20th. It started Friday. So 26, 25, 24, 23. So it started on the 23rd. Um, started Friday. We, as a family, went on Saturday, and um, I took some video. It's a very quick video, and please excuse my children and my husband talking in the background <laughs> as I'm filming the video. I just, I could not get them to be quiet. So, um, you get to see a uh, genuine reaction. And uh, let me cue this video for you. I spliced the three little videos that I took together. So it'll be like a little bit of start and stop. Isn't that a hostage? That's a real bird. First place and best of show. This that's me. That's mine. Good job, mommy. You did the flower one and it's hung up. And you got first place. I did, and best of show. I got first place and best of show. No. 
So now that you've seen my video, I won first place and best of show. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe that. I, when we got there, I was really expecting to just see everybody's stuff and for there not to be ribbons on things since they officially don't announce the winners until tonight at 5 p.m. So when I actually found my piece with the ribbon on it, I was shocked. I mean, I'm just, you know, scrolling through the wall and like I come to mine and like realize that it's mine. And so, yeah, so I won first place at Best of Show. I'm so excited. Not bad for my first fair as an adult. Although I'll probably never be able to duplicate those results again. <laughs> But I was so excited. So the, they, the state fair was weird. They had a lot of categories, a lot of different categories. And so the category that my piece was in was the 14 to 18 count fabric category. And then the overall size dimensions had to be less than 12 inches wide and 20 inches tall. And my piece was, I think it was like 11. 11 and a half and 19 and three quarters. Um, but I might be a little wrong. Anyway, they, they fit in that category, but there were a lot of different categories. Um, I'm not sure how best of show was chosen. If it was judges favorite or, or what, but I got a first place in a best of show rosette. So excited. You have no idea. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so let's start in with the cross-stitch stuff. So the first one, and I'm going to apologize, today is an overcast day, so the light coming in through this window is, it's a muted light, so all of my stuff looks kind of dull and not as bright as normal. Uh, so category. Project number one for me is a uh, favorite designer. Now I've told you before, uh, I have three favorite designers and I'm going to rotate through each of the designers. I started with Teresa Wensler because I actually had a lot of patterns in my hot little fist when I decided I was gonna do favorite designers. Uh, after Teresa Wensler, I've already chosen the next one, which is a Mirabilia slash Nora Corbett. 
it is the August Peridot Fairy, and the last time I showed it was in the big long video where I went through my stash. Uh, the third favorite artist is Bella Filipina, and um, I'm not sure yet which one I want to do from them because there are so many beautiful ones. I know I want to do a mermaid. So my Teresa Wensler is a dragon. The Mirabilia is going to be a fairy. And so I want the Bella Filipina to be a mermaid. So that's, that's as far as I've planned it, but there are so many Bella Filipina mermaids that I don't know yet which one I'm going to pick. So favorite designer, and I chose Teresa Wensler. I have this best of Teresa Wensler fantasy collection, volume one. I do not have volume two. At this point, I think I'm going to have to piece out volume two because there's one for 980 some dollars on Amazon. I don't have that kind of money. Not for cross-stitch stuff. Not really. I mean, I bet if I sold my entire stash, I might have enough for the book, but I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> So the piece that I'm doing is this one right here, the castle, and it's a lovely, lovely dragon. I'm doing it on 16 count hand dyed fabric that I dyed myself. I was going for a post apocalyptic feel and so I wanted it to look like dragon fire and smoke. Um, the yellow that I use and the red that I use, when it combined, the orange turned out a little bit more brown than I was expecting. And the black color had green in the mixture. And uh, when it hit the yellow, it brought out some of those greens. So while this isn't the exact thing that I was going for, I still really like how it turned out. And the majority of the brown is actually covered over, so you don't really see that it's not as orange as it should be. So, specifically, the work that I've been doing has been down in these rocks and just bringing them down. As you can see, I sort of have the outline of the spikes coming down. I'm just... I'm, my plan is to hit the spikes and then just, like, I think I'm going to finish the rocks first, then work on the tail part, and then finish whatever rocks are underneath the tail. Um, and really, there's only a little bit left on this side one row of stitches on this side to finish out the tail here um this part of the tail but there is a little part that comes up like it goes like that so okay so i said 16 count fabric hand dyed two over one and just Oh no, I've lost it. My needle, I've lost my needle somewhere. I was just gonna show you that I use a ballpoint needle, but I just lost it. It's not here. That's not good. I'm sad. But to show you on the last part of the pattern, this is what all I still have to do. Okay. The second project, I was wondering, because this was sitting on top of it, I was wondering if maybe the magnet picked up the other needle, but it did not. Boy, I lost that. That's going to drive me crazy. So my second project is either a black work or a sampler. And um, I started with a black work. Uh, the county fair has a category for black works and the state fair has a category for sampler so i thought if i just work project number two and alternate between black works and samplers i should have you know stuff for both fairs i did not get this done in time for 
the fair, and obviously. So this is practical black work, and the design is called Pentecost, and it's off of Etsy. I did not put, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm just all over the place. I didn't write down notes this time like I normally do. Project number one. This time I put in nine hours, 16 minutes, and 42 seconds, bringing my total project up to one hour, no, 139 hours, 41 minutes, and 48 seconds. So I'm up to 139 hours on the Teresa Wetzler. Now, <laughs> let's talk about Pentecost by Practical Blackwork. I have not gotten to work on this at all, and I'm just showing it to you to show you that there's been no change. I haven't gotten to work on it. I don't get to... I'm not going to risk carrying the stand around, so no change on this. This is 18 count fabric that I hand dyed myself uh, with two colors of green and black. Uh, one over one. And this one. I am at, hold on. Seventy two hours, six minutes and fifty six seconds. So this one is on hold until Teresa Wensler is finished or until I get the all clear from my doctor that I can carry things again and then I'll continue carrying the stand up and down the stairs. Project number three um, is by Heaven and Earth Designs. Hold on just a moment. Okay, so the next one is, project number three is wish list, and that's going to encompass a lot of things. I originally picked this project to submit to the fair as well. Um, didn't even put a dent in it. <laughs> but uh, it's by Heaven and Earth Designs. Uh, this is Fay Risque by Amy Brown. Uh, I am doing my own blue conversion. This is what I printed out of Pattern Keeper. And I can't bring you the stand, but I have a picture. I worked on this for... Fifty seven minutes and twelve seconds before my surgery. Um, that was the last time I got to touch it, but it was after the last video. Um, I probably only did about a hundred stitches on it. And so I am up to let me talk a little bit. It is twenty two count fabric that I hand dyed by myself. I was trying to duplicate the background of the image so that I wouldn't have to stitch it. <coughs> um, 22 count fabric, two over one, and uh, I am sitting at 99 hours, 23 minutes, and 21 seconds on this project. Um, again, I won't get to touch it again until I can lift heavy things again, or if someone takes pity on me and drags it over to me. Okay, and then the last project is the Stash Buster piece. This one I've gotten a lot of work on in the last few weeks. It is a plaid Lucilla kit. Donna Dewberry is the designer and is called Hummingbird and Floral. All of this 
all of this is what I've worked on in the past in the past two weeks. I filled in parts of this leaf and then I moved on to this hydrangea forget me not like I don't know what it is but I know stitching this is a nightmare this is so much confetti and the weird part is is I feel like this is more confetti than what Faye Risqué is and I know that's way more confetti but it's just a lot a lot of purples and periwinkle it's a lot So that's a really big update. That when I show the before picture, that's that's a lot. That's a lot since the last one. This is where I am on the pattern. I still have just a little bit more over here to do and finish this little leaf down here and then finish it up more hydrangeas over here. That's why I didn't do them over here, I think. I had started. I have a couple of the little purples started, but I noped out of that real quick. Um, so there's still a whole nother flower and stuff over here. And I'm not sure, but I might go ahead and do the, um, the back stitching on this area before I move up and finish over here. I don't know. I don't know. Um, this is 14 count hand dyed fabric that I dyed myself trying to make it look like the sky. Um, so the last two weeks I put in five hours, 57 minutes and 27 seconds. I know that seems like a lot on this one, but now that school is a little bit different, I have to leave a little bit earlier and I actually have more time sitting in my car waiting for the older one to get out of school because I have to get there at a decent time so that I'm not parked in the middle of the street waiting to turn in at the school. So I do leave with enough time for me to be safely parked in front of the school in the kiss and drop lane and um, and then I just sit there and stitch on this. And then after I pick up the oldest, we rush to the elementary school. And then um, my oldest goes and grabs my youngest. And I sit there and stitch until they come back to the car. So I get just a little bit more work. Um, anyway, the total time for this project is 41 minutes. No, 41 hours. 47 minutes and 29 seconds. So that's my update on my three project, four projects, two of which are not actively being worked on and two of them I'm sort of, the, the one in the car is not intentionally being focused on. It's just I'm getting a little bit more time to work on it than I had been. And I am sort of intentionally focusing on the Teresa Wensler because I'm 75% done. I'm so close to being done. I just, I need to get it done. I, I, I want to get it done and backstitched. And I want to start on the mirror be able to off. I'm, I'm in my head. I've already moved on to the next project. And that's generally pretty dangerous for me because I pick up and stop and pick up and stop and pick up and stop a lot of projects. And I end up with a lot more whips than I'm comfortable with having. So I'm going to focus on the Teresa Wensler, get it done. Um, focus then on, um, the, uh, the black work, finishing that up. Um, after I finish the black work, I'm going to have to choose a sampler. I haven't, I haven't even thought about what sampler to, to choose. Um, I'm not sure which direction to go, whether I just do like a plain alphabet sampler or I have, I have the Noah's Ark Teresa Wensler sampler, but I don't want to jump into another Teresa Wensler, not 
not so soon. Um, I do have that disc of just cross stitch, so I can look through there and see if I can find a complete sampler that's stitched out. But again, that's future. That's for the future. Right now, right now I'm going to push to finish Teresa Wensler and then the black work. Work on the wish list whenever I can. And hopefully once I finish my stash piece, I can move on to another stash. So that's it as far as plans go for the foreseeable future. Um, and yeah, so I will see everyone next week and happy stitching. <laughs>